Okay, I am here with Connor Bell, and he has won our Ambassador of the Month for May. So welcome, Connor. Tell me a little bit about yourself in the program. Awesome. Thanks for having me. Um, so like you said, my name is Connor. Uh, I am a Spartan competitor. I'm a personal trainer. I'm an online coach. Um, and yeah, I've been in the program for just merely a few months, I guess now, but it's felt like longer than that with how much effort we put in over the past few months too. Um, I'm kind of a social media creator as well too, or a content creator, however you want to uh, pose it. Uh, and my goal is simple. I just want to get information of what Spartan is about to people who don't really know about it um, to make sure that they feel A, comfortable and B, they can, if they're already comfortable, they can use any of my content to help improve their skills, their performance and their fitness in general. Amazing. So when did you start with Spartan? When was your first race? Uh, my first race, I believe, was in 2018. I could be wrong. It could be 2017 because I did Tough Mudder one before. Um, and it was in a Toronto-based place. I don't know if it was okay. actually home, but yeah, it was around then. And I did the open heat. Nice. And then after open, you were like, I need to be a competitor or how did that go? Yeah. So I think I came like in the top like 10 for my age group for open heat. And uh, I thought to myself, this was like a good opportunity that I can start pushing myself into a further, uh, I don't know, further more competitive heat because my background is uh, I played competitive soccer growing up. I played competitive tennis and then I got into rugby in high school as well as university. I lost the sport once I left university and I found myself kind of still seeking some type of a uh, competitive nature. Um, so then I saw that Spartan offers like age group and elites type of heats as well too. And I was like, well, I got to get myself like right into that. So I went to age group the next year. Nice. And were you a personal trainer before or did Spartan spark your interest in personal training? Good question. So I did my kinesiology degree and I did like my master's nice. in science as well too. So my background has always been like human kinetics and such. Um, but I did my degrees and I came out and I was at Brock for, you're making me think right now. So this is good. <laughs> Brock uh, and I was a recruitment officer to help get like people in uh, to Brock to show like how good of a university it is. And because it was a seasonal job, seven month contract. So I found myself in limbo asking myself, what am I going to do with my life? Um, my girlfriend at that time said, if you're going to do this whole fitness thing, you might as well go all in right now. So I became a head coach and orange theory. And I ended up nice. doing that as a personal trainer, uh, for two to three years. Um, and that was during, uh, that was just after COVID. So I guess to answer your question, I <laughs> I was Spartan training and then I got into uh, coaching after. Nice. And yes. so you do a lot of videos for Spartan and they're amazing. They're super informative. I personally watch them like front to back all the time. I like am excited for them. Um, what got you into that? Why are you making those? Yeah. So I finished my first Spartan race and right when I finished, I said, there's so much stuff that I need to learn. Like anyone who does their first Spartan race, they'll immediately say to themselves, okay, that was awesome. That was gritty. I definitely pushed myself through something, but I want to get better at X. And that X, I was always searching online. I was like, okay, I'm finding little pieces, but I can't find like a culmination of videos of like one source that I can go to. So I said, I want to be that guy, if I can, of start like disseminating information to other people so that they can figure out that this thing is for everybody and again, get better at it too, right? So I came up with like a list of like a hundred ideas and the list always gets longer and longer. And I was like, I'm just going to start knocking off these one at a time. And that's actually when I, ran the, when I found the ambassador program as well too, that I was like, okay, I can even expand this even further now by helping promote uh, Spartan as well as other yeah, people who are looking to change their lives. I think it's great because uh, it's also Canadian content too. So we get a lot of the U.S. content, which is amazing too. But I think if we're creating a community in Canada, we need all that can content. <laughs> yeah. So the CRTC was not wrong sometimes. <laughs> very true. Very true. Yes. So that's nice for us to have that. So what do you like about the ambassador program so far? 
Yeah. So I think the biggest thing is finding like like-minded people like myself and then be able to like spitball back and forth topics too. Um, you only have one mind when you're trying to like figure out the next thing for people to want to learn more about with respect to Spartan racing or OCR in general too. So having those people in that one community that I can talk back and forth. And even like last weekend when I went to a deck of it, I met like a bunch of ambassadors that I only like heard from. And then we mm -hmm. were going back. He had a camera. I had a camera. We were both trying to put out content. So um, it's really fun to like start spitballing back and forth and having all those ideas. Big brainstorm. Yeah, I think that's a great uh, part of it. And again, going back to the creating the community, we create a community and then we get more races and more fun and all that stuff. So what exactly. um, races will we see you at this year? And I know you do a variety. It's not just Spartan. So tell us about that too. Yeah. So uh, it's, to be honest, they keep getting more and more each and every time. <laughs> I go back and look at the calendar. There's more on there. So I went to Bramacombe. Um, I'm going to Tremblant. I'll be in Ottawa or Calabogie, if you will. Um, I'll be going to Kelowna because it's part of the Canada National Series. Uh, so is Alberta. So I'll be going to Red Deer as well there too. And I'll be doing Blue Mountain. So for Spartan, those are the ones I'm going to for Spartan race specifics. But because now DECA has become something I've become really interested in, and it's getting bigger in Canada right now too, which is great. DECA yes. Fit actually just got announced as well too uh, with Pure Impact Athletics. Uh, side note there. Um, <laughs> so I'll be doing... Uh, one in Philadelphia for the mm -hmm. deck of fit. Um, now I guess I'm going to do one also in Ancaster because it just got announced as well too. And then if my world's like championship status holds, I'll also go down to Texas in December too. So it's a long season for this guy, but I'm excited. Yeah. I, I think that's awesome. It's like DECA has given us almost a little bit extra because, you know, we started can Canadian only has so many races. So it's nice sure. to see other things we can go and be at and and then going to the world championships, that's awesome. We all hope Absolutely. you get there. I think the you cool will, thing, though. <laughs> the cool thing with DECA, too, I think, is that people will understand, too, and this will be good more information to share with people, that it's functional fitness for everybody. A lot of people get scared of, like, the whole CrossFit nature of things, too, mm -hmm. and, like, being a jerk that I might not be able to do. Well, these are just 10 stations that anyone can do, whether competitive or just looking to increase their fitness. So it's really cool. Yeah, I love that about DECA as well, that, um, you know, some of the weights um, hinder people because they, certain people can just not lift those weights. So this sure. is l literally for everyone, like you said. So which one has been your favorite race so far? So far, um, you know what? I hold Brimacombe really close to my heart. It was, like I said, the first race I ever went to was Spartan Toronto. Um, and that's where I started finding a little piece of everything. I think their obstacle line, especially this year, was perfect. The way that they were set up, um, that was a long barbed wire crawl. But nonetheless, it was it was long burries and then pushed all of us. My knees are still feeling it. Um, <laughs> it's a good amount of flat course running, but it mm -hmm. also has hills to push you at the same time. So I think people who excel at all areas of, of OCR, um, they'll get the push, but at the same time, people that are faster will get the flats to utilize. People who have been training hills, they'll get them too. So yeah. Excellent. Really like and what is your favorite obstacle of all? I mean, I know there's so many, but if you had to pick one. <laughs> there is, there is a lot. Um, I would say the Herkhoist is is probably my go-to. I think uh with respect to like upper body strength, before mm -hmm. I got into Spartan, I was always like an upper body guy. And I was like, nope, got, gotta do your squats and everything else now too. So now now I'm complete opposite. I'm I'm way more, I'm way more lower body than I am upper body now. Um, but I like the idea of like having to like grunt something down with like your arms and such, and then you you and technique into it um some people it gets to one of those ones where it can be really struggly or it can be like a really quick one too so i like the chance to like get ahead if i can amazing and you race an age group at the moment um mm -hmm. and you're quite you're doing quite well for the season mm -hmm. uh any chance you'll ever consider elite racing at all i bet Absolutely. you've been asked that before this has been <laughs> such a common theme this year so yeah. i have a thing in my mind where it's like okay I have like goals that I set out for myself, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone has like different levels. Like it's all, it's all perspective of what you for want. Sure. Like when I, when I started going top of the open that I said, okay, I'm going to go to age group now. My goal is to, when we go to Tremblant and I'm, I don't mind putting my goals out there, um, is nice. to podium for a beast. Cause I've never podiumed a beast before. Oh, good. Yeah. So if I can podium a beast and I can like prove myself in my mind that I can run not only a five and a 10, but also a 21, then at that point, probably not this year, because I want to finish off the Canon National Series. For sure. But next year, 100%, I'll be in the Consider elite. it, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we will yes. look forward to that. Do you have any 
fun or random facts about yourself that you want to put out there? Maybe you don't want to put them out there. <laughs> See, these questions are always like, I'm always like prepared for all like the regular questions then something like this. I know. I, I always ask mm. a weird one at the end. <laughs> um, a random fact about me. Hmm. Um, I have never broke a bone in my life and I'm going to knock on wood right now. Before yes, I knock on wood. <laughs> I, actually, I had stitches last. Uh, I was in Red Deer and I was in, I was leading that race and I think it was the five or 10 K or a second and I slipped off the box. So this is good. Oh. If anyone's watching this right now, when you're going down the steps, make sure if it's dewy, you don't run down those bad boys. Take your time, take the extra five seconds. And my foot slipped backwards and my shin grinded down it. And they had to like med cart me off. Um, no. So I'm, I'm going there for redeeming myself this year, hands down. I'm going to go super slow down there. Um, so my random fact, never broke a bone, but I, what was my stitches last time? The first time. Yeah. And nice. Last and um, I kind of skipped over the deck apart you uh, about your goals. I know I had mm -hmm. asked you or you had put it out there on social media for this weekend. You just crushed a deck goal. You want to give us a little bit about that? Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I wanted to go sub 20 minutes um, to like get like a top 20 uh, position to get invited down to worlds. Um, and just like, I don't know, prove myself something. Cause I have the whole setup in my garage here and I've been trading <laughs> day, in, day out. And uh, I, I hit a 1948. I died a little bit, uh, just a little bit to the point where I really didn't know where I was for a second there. Um, <laughs> Amber and Zach were luckily there to save me. So uh, yeah. yeah, I pushed that out and hopefully can keep improving upon that. And on that note too, we did a deck of teams and we ended up going with a 1640, which me and my buddy had no idea we were going to do. We just went there just for- For fun, yeah. For fun, but to push ourselves. And uh, yeah, we put up a top five uh, male- time globally too so oh my goodness he wants to go to to texas to do that yeah perfect so he was it's props to dan dan if you're watching it that was all you my man <laughs> <laughs> and luckily for us uh you are so good at social media we'll all get to watch um this journey that you have with your goals so amazing super looking Perfect. forward to that okay so do you have anything else you want to add about the program your experience with spartan go for it Nice. Um, so I think that the one thing I would tell majority of people, um, if you're ever wavering between doing it or not, you should just do it and take the step into the fear. Usually the things that you're most uncomfortable with are the things that help us grow the most. Um, it changed my life. Uh, it can change yours for the better as well, too. Um, and if you ever need any help or you're worried about getting yourself involved or you need a fitness training program as well, too, I offer a ton of different opportunities as well, be it in person or online as well, too. So always feel free to reach out, um, whether it's just a question or you're actually looking for a, a program to help yourself uh, get to a certain level of fitness, too. So, Yeah. Amazing. It was so nice talking to you. And it's always fun getting to know and uh, all the different things about people. You always find something else out that's new. So this was awesome. Likewise. Yes. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. Congratulations on your win for our ambassador of the month.